Okay. All right, Eric, uh, just kind of reflect on what happened out there. Um, 51-28 final score. Uh, how did you guys do? Um, I felt like towards the end, you know, we kind of let up a little. Uh, some plays were made on us that we could have prevented from happening. And uh, overall, the start, I feel like on defense, we kind of started off a little slow. But towards the middle of the game, I feel like we picked it up and played pretty well. Um, just some things we got to clean up next week. Eric, you guys were able to get to, to Holton, the, the ECU quarterback, a lot in the second half. Was, it, was there anything changed, or did they did they appear maybe like they were running on, on out of gas in the, in the second half? Uh, yeah, we um halftime we made some things uh, just blatant that we seen in the first half. Um, just easy stuff that we needed to pick up on that we weren't doing as well. I think in the first half, and it made it a lot easier for them to get to the quarterback in the second half. Eric, that's four more turnovers today. That's nine and two games. Uh, what can you say about your guys' effort in that area? Um, yeah, turnovers are, turnovers are always something that we stress for uh, emphasis on on defense. And I think today we did a great job going out there, making things happen. Um, just jumping on the opportunities when we seen the balls on the ground, and just making great plays on the ball. Eric, yeah, um, you guys did a, a good job on defense, obviously. I feel like, uh, did it seem to you that um, you did a better job facing a motor, mobile quarterback this week than you did last week? Um, yeah, I would say we, we held the man pretty good. Uh, he wasn't able to really get going. Uh, a couple of times he kind of tried to get out of the pocket, but it was nothing there for him. Um, so he wasn't really able to make too many plays getting out of the pocket. Hi, Eric. Do you think you can go into a little bit what was the kind of the mindset of the defense going in later in the game and what you guys think you're going to need to work on in order to be able to uh, to maintain yourselves in the in, later in the, later on in the game? Um, the mindset was still the same. I just believe that uh, we didn't execute as well as we did earlier in the game, and that just kind of allowed for some things to open. But those guys, they, uh, they, they held up pretty good. Just small things we got to work on that we know we can do better, that we didn't do better in the season. Uh, Eric, I've seen, you know, no fans outside of, you know, a handful of parents were in the stadium. How different was that? Did you feel a difference or what was it like playing a game with with hardly any fans? Um, it was kind of different, um, you know, not having anybody out there in a, in a game environment trying to play. And, um, you know, you kind of got to bring your own energy and you got to beat up for you guys. There it wasn't many people in there. But um, I would say overall the gameplay wasn't different. It was just, you know, the fact that there was nobody there. So. It, it was kind of a difference, but I don't think it really played too much of a big difference for us. Eric, when you, when you see a young guy like Keenan Hester get his first sack, I mean, what, what is that like? And what is it like to have some of those young guys step up maybe and play for the defense? Um, it feels good because, you know, the work some of those young guys put in, um, you know, just grinding with you and they finally get their chance and their numbers call and they go out there and make a play. It kind of feels good to see that happen. If, I don't say kind of. It does feel good to see that happen. Eric, I know when the offense is on the field, you guys are, you know, in your huddles on the sidelines and don't get a lot of chance to watch them a whole lot. But, you know, Dylan Gabriel today had 18 consecutive completions at one point, and you guys put up 50 more points. Uh, what is it like when you just see this offense perform the way they performed? Um, the times I do get to look up at the screen or, you know, kind of get a glimpse on what they're doing, uh, Dylan's always lighting it up. Um, I'm proud of him and how he's been playing. And uh, offense, they did very good today. You know, uh, I think Coach Sand I mean, Coach Hype said 600 yards, so, I mean, you can't ask for more than that. They did a good job out of it. Thanks, Eric.